Hello everyone. So now we will continue the topic table creation. In the previous video, we learned how to give the fields or columns in that table. Now, now the next important thing whenever we are creating a table. A table does not have any significance if we are not identify the key field of the table. Now we will firstly understand what is primary key. What is primary key? A primary key is a key which identifies a record uniquely. Suppose if you will see the data which we will put in the table, order number is unique. Order number is unique. One, two, three, four, five. So it means order number is uniquely identifying a particular record, a particular record. So order number is the primary key of the first table or order header table. Suppose if we'll go for the best example is suppose in an organization, employee ID is always unique for every employee. So with the help of employee ID, we can identify the details of a particular employee. Similar cases here. What is the primary key of our table? Order number. So how we can identify the primary key in that table? Simply select this checkbox. It means order number is the primary key of that table. Now, what SAP is saying, your primary key of the table should be at the top. Suppose now in this case, what happened? MANDT, non-primary key, order number, primary key. Then we have again non-primary key. SAP will never take this. So always, always take primary keys at in the sequence and it should be at the top of the table. So I am taking MA and DT also as the primary key of the table. And you will automatically understand we will not put any data for MA and DT column. It will automatically appear as the client number of SAP system. As of now, in this table, I have the order number as the primary key of the table. Now we will go for our next thing. I will go to technical settings. I will save this table. Now, now I will pass the data class. I will go for F4 help. I will choose data class suppose as AWPL0. I will go for size category. I will go to F4 help and I will choose the size category as 0. Anyways, as of now, our target is to create a table. We'll go for detail explanation. What is data class and what is size category? I'm saving this table. I'll go to back button. Now I will save this particular table. Now I will check the syntax of the table. Control plus F2 is the shortcut. Now we have the most, most important point here. It is saying for TA, TA is total amount column of our table. Specify reference table and reference field. Now this is one of the most important point. Now we will go into detailed explanation of this. 
I'll go to back button. It is saying for TA column, specify reference table and reference field. Now, firstly, I will go for exclamation. What is our TA column? TA is amount column, money column. Suppose I'm saying I have 200 in my pocket. It does not have any sense at all. I have to tell I have 200 rupees. I have $200. I have 200 euro. So amount always, always require a currency. We have to specify that it is in Indian rupees or it is in dollars or it is in euro or it is in ruble. We have to always, always specify the currency. Suppose we'll go for another explanation. Suppose I'm saying his weight is 50. It does not have any sense. We have to tell his weight is 50 kg. Suppose I'm saying, suppose I bought 10, I bought, I bought 10. So I have to go, I have to just go for the unit. It's 10 kg, it 10 grams. Yes. So you always, always two things. First one is amount. And the second one is quantity which always, always requires a reference table and reference field. Suppose amount always require a currency, quantity always require a unit, gram, kg. So these are the two types of columns which always requires a reference table and reference field. So if I will go for this tab, currency slash quantity fields. You can see this is where it is specifying us to where it is asking to pass reference table and reference field. So what is our reference table? This is our reference table. And what is the column we took for the currency in this table? It is C-U-R-R. So suppose if I will pass 1000 as the amount, if I will pass 1000 as the amount and I am giving the value of CURR as INR, it means it will become 1000 Indian rupees. Yes. So how to give the reference table and reference field? In this current example, my reference field is in this table itself. So what I pass my table name and what is the column name C U R R. Do not cram this because many times people will simply put currency. No, what is your name of the column in the table? You took C U R R. If you are taking C U R, pass C U R. If you are taking C U W -R, R E N C E, pass C U W -R, R E N C E. So this is one of the important point whenever you are creating a table. So I will check the syntax of the table. These are warnings. I can ignore these warnings. Now I will activate this particular table. I do not want to display the warnings. So now you can see my table is in active status. So what we did in table creation, we gave some name to the table. We pass the delivery class. We choose display maintenance allowed. We took MA and DT as first column in the table, which represents the client number of SAP system. We defined other columns of the table. We maintained the primary key in the table. We went for technical settings. We passed the data class and size category. For amount column, we passed the reference table and reference field using currency slash quantity fields. So this is in this particular video. We'll continue the rest part in the next video. Thank you.